So this video is in relation to your assignment number 28. We are moving on to a new topic, simple linear equation. Now, we got to understand what linear means. Linear means that there is only one type of variable. For example, in an equation, you will only find a variable x or you can find a variable a but you will not find something like a as well as b and to understand what an equation is an equation we've already done when we have done uh, the sums based on lcm and hcf where we found that there was a left hand side as well as a right hand side so uh, let's go back to class 2 uh, the these type of sums you've done in class 1 and class 2 where you were given a box and you were supposed to find out the number inside the box. Of course, in those days you simply used to write 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Moving on, what we are doing is instead of a box, now you are given an alphabet or a variable 5 plus A is equal to 7. So from here you have to find the value of A. Now this time you are actually proving that A is a certain number. Here in class 2 you were not asked to prove about that. But now you are going to prove that A is equal to whatever number we are supposed to do. Now moving on. Let's say we are given an equation a plus 2 is equal to 10. We are saying an equation has a left hand side and a right hand side. In the middle you will find a equal to sign. Which means the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Keeping this in mind. If I take the equation and look at it in the form of a scale. Taraju. Now. A plus 2, which is on the left hand side, I'm putting it here. And 10, which is on the right hand side, I'm putting it here. Which means it will be balanced. When these are balanced, so what happens is, suppose I want to add in this particular diagram, let's say A plus 2, I want to add plus 2 here. Will the balance be equal? Definitely not. What happens is, this side becomes more and this side becomes less. In order to make it equal, I have to add 2 to this side also. So that this one on the left hand side and this one on the right hand side still becomes equal. Similarly, I may remove, let's say, instead of plus 2, I want to remove something from here. So, I write minus 2 here. That means on the other side, all I also have to subtract so that the two sides become equal. Keeping this in mind, I can say from the same equation, A plus 2 is equal to 10. Now, if I want to remove this 2, what I can do is A plus 2. From here, I want to remove 2. That means I can subtract 2. But if I subtract 2 from the left hand side, I also have to subtract 2 from the right hand side. Now when I look at this, plus 2 and minus 2, they can cancel. So on my left hand side, I am left with A. And A will be equal to 10 minus 2, which is equal to 8. This is the concept we are going to use. But of course, we can do it in a shorter manner. This is something that we have done earlier. Moving something from the left hand side to the right hand side. Or from the right hand side to the left hand side. On the left hand side, I have A plus 2. On the right hand side, I have 10. My idea is to leave A alone on the left hand side. Which means I have to remove this plus 2. I already have a 10 here. So what do I do with this plus 2? It moves from the left hand side to the right hand side. 
since it is being added here it is subtracted on the other side so a will be equal to 8 so you can use this concept anywhere suppose it is minus 2 here it will go to the other side and become plus 2 so that is the concept we are going to use in order to solve the next sum you can have a look at this y plus 2 is equal to minus 8 so I will have to leave the y alone on the left hand side which means I already have minus 8 here so this plus 2 is going to the right hand side so it becomes minus 2 therefore y will be equal to minus 8 minus 2 is going to give us minus 10 similarly if I look at the next one I have a fraction here I want to leave y alone on the left hand side and find its value therefore what we can say that y is equal to 6 plus 3 and a half I converted into an improper fraction which means I get 7 by 2 now I can add these two fractions LCM this is 6 by 1 LCM of 1 and 2 will be 2 1 will go 2 times 2 into 6 that is 12 plus 2 will go once so 1 into 7 will be 7 so I get y is equal to 19 upon 2 and 19 upon 2 if I convert it into a mixed fraction will be equal to 2 9's are 18 which means 1 is the remainder upon 2 so 9 and a half is my final answer but the same sum if I want to do it in a simple manner I can simply write it as y is equal to 6 plus 3 and a half now when I think of 6 plus 3 and a half you've got these when you uh, do your calculation for your marks suppose for the first question you get 6 and for the second question you get 3 and a half you can simply add the two of them and then write it as 9 and a half so this is a short way of working on sums where you can add and subtract sometimes but most of the cases you will have to follow this method so these are the sums which are based on your simple linear equations will be coming across more sums based on it in the next video.